What's going on all my hopefuls? This is JC Flames and today I'm going to show you how to sign up to BandLab Distribution. I've been getting a lot of questions about this and I want to go over the benefits and some things to watch out for, alright? Let's go. From the town I like nothing when I'm hopeful slip A small city or some, but mostly no one forgets On the outskirts of where I've been, dreaming since a kid Thought I was cursing, never see a radio hit A grammy the industry or something, even close Miles outside of Alright guys, so one of the things I do want to note before I do move forward is that Band Lab is an actual um, production creator, right? And what I mean by that is it's a platform where you can create beats and I've seen a lot of people create some amazing beats using Band Lab. I personally don't use it, but this is for all the producers and artists that actually do use it. And for a little bit now, um, they've been using their own distribution service. Now it is two different websites, so if you do use BandLab on your phone or on your computer to actually make beats, it is a different actual website that offers their distribution. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and go to Google. I'm gonna type in BandLab. I'm gonna type in distribution, right? So again, mind you, different than the actual website you use to um, make the beats, right? So uh, um, there's even articles right here talking about it, how they've done it. And it's been for, for a while now. Um, so I apologize, it's been a while, you guys. I've been meaning to make this video. Um, I've also been getting questions about SoundCloud as well and their distribution. So I'm gonna do a video on that later. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on this one that says Distribution Band Lab. And, um, and I get it, you guys, just a quick note, a lot of platforms now are trying to make it easier and easier for creators, right? So a lot of them, too, are trying to compete with uh, one another. So keep that in mind, you guys, when you're picking a distribution service, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below, and I'll give you my recommendation as far as what distribution to use. Depending on your situation, what kind of artist you are, what kind of producer you are, songwriter, etc. But... Keep in mind that they're always competing with each other, so all of them are coming out with different features and different things to help creators, right? Um, and there's been a vast variety of just platforms in general that are offering distribution services, right? BandLab being one of them. They not only offer uh, chances to create for producers and whatnot with their program, but now they're offering distribution, right? And as you can see, it's going to show you right here, these are the main platforms and these are pretty much the biggest platforms out there as far as mainstreaming goes that they offer for distribution right and notice here that they do offer soundcloud there's certain distribution platforms that do not offer soundcloud all right so that's one thing that you guys want to keep in mind uh, when it comes to uh, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to do with your music so we're going to go ahead and click on sign up and then right here for my name i'm going to go ahead and put JC Flames, of course, and go ahead and do my um, email and then go ahead and do the password. So I'll come right back to you guys as soon as I get this situated. So I did choose a password and then also it's going to ask you to fill out a CAPTCHA. It's pretty much just like match the pictures or select all the pictures that have a car in it or whatnot. So they're going to ask you that. Um, for the username, I'm going to do JC Flames. Right, and then for the profile picture, I highly recommend you guys use a profile picture. I mean, it's not a big deal per se, but to me, I feel like it just gives more context for any of the distribution platforms or just you in general, or just for any future reference, it's a lot better just to have your actual picture on there. I'm gonna use an old photo just because um, it looks like they're not accepting that, so let's do this one right here. All right, cool. It's a bit of an old picture, but hey, I'm going to go ahead and use it. So let's go ahead and continue, and it's going to ask you right here, which musical journey are you on? So again, just kind of like uh, the video I did last week, if you guys have not checked it out, please do, on how to sign up for Lander, and they offer distribution as well. They're just asking you, are you an artist? Are you a social musician? Like looking to meet other musicians so you can collaborate and whatnot? Or are you just a fan and you want to discover music? So they give you that option as well. But for me, of course, and I hope whoever's watching this out there, you guys are artists as well or producers. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do artists. 
Tell us more about you. So again, they want to integrate and push a lot of their band lab platform for creation, right? So they want to kind of get a better idea of you and kind of integrate that as well. So for here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on I am a keyboardist as well as a drummer, songwriter, uh, beat maker. And if you want, you can click other um, as well as a vocalist. That's what I am. So let's click more. And uh, with favorite genres, um, I'm going to go ahead and do hip hop and R&B for me as well as pop. All right. Those are my three main ones. And boom, right here, pretty much, you guys, it's going to show you the breakdown of everything um, as far as who you're following, the trending for you. And just to keep a note, you guys don't get too boggled by this or thrown off, but they kind of treat theirs like a kind of like a social media feed. Think of it like Facebook or Twitter, you know? Um, so you have the followers, the following. It's just the way the layout is. That's all it is, you guys. Um, so even as you scroll down, it's going to show you some headlines, people that are sharing right here, um, putting the hashtag saying this is one of my best songs. So again, not only is BandLab trying to push their creation, and if you do use BandLab to create your beats and your production, that's fine because they're trying to integrate it with this so that you can actually distribute and you can share it amongst other BandLab users, right? So you can see how they're trying to integrate a lot of the social part of it. Um, and as you keep going, it's just a lot of other people saying, hey, check this out, check out my new songs. I created this, blah, 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 you know. Um, so as you can see, some of the upper parts right here, it's saying create. That's if you want to create that production. Again, they're integrating it. Or uh, your library of songs that you've already put out or even created, right? Um, right here is where you're going to have um, the four dots, as I like to call them. They're going to uh, have the actual options for you right here. It's going to say studio. So you want to record, mix, or collaborate. Um, do you want other sounds? Uh, and they have royalty free options for sounds, you guys, for packs and samples and stuff like that. Again, for you to use their platform, or you want to master, or you want to uh, be a song starter, you want to just uh, do some song ideas. And they have an AI powered feature. Let me know if you guys want to see a video about that, exploring it. But, um, FYI, you guys, even this last week, I was talking about it with one of my clients. But AI is the future, you guys, um, when it comes to marketing, it comes to the digital world, just everything in general. Everything's becoming AI powered, right? Um, and a lot of platforms are trying to keep up with it. So um, even effects, they have that. They have an option for you to promote it so that you can actually do a campaign and push a lot of your stuff on BandLab Social, as well as uh, other opportunities, um, to submit your music to gigs uh, around your state, around your country or whatnot record deals and more. Now keep in mind you guys, I can explore this in another video if you guys want to. Uh, just let me know, hit me up in the comments. But keep in mind that a lot of these platforms will always say, oh, you can, we offer you to submit your songs to record labels. And I, I know a lot of people will get hyped about that, but keep this in mind you guys, they're usually not big, big record labels, right? Um, it's really rare, unless it's something like Timbaland's Beat Club or something like that where they actually give you access for you to contact or send a lot of your beats or your music to the major record labels i'm talking about universal music warner brothers i mean i'm talking about these huge record labels interscope etc right some of these other platforms like this one right here i can almost bet but like i said if you guys want to see another video about that comment below i can almost bet they're pretty small record labels just keep that in mind if you're sending a lot of your music right uh but i will confirm that if you guys want to see another video about that also, you do have an option for tip jar. That means people who want to support you, they can actually give you tips. There's contests, albums, um, where you can actually publish your album on here and do the design, all of that stuff, right? So it gives you a wide variety of choices as far as what you can do on BandLab. Like I said, I highly recommend, and this is more beneficial in my opinion, to other people who create beats on lab, BandLab, excuse me, and they want to distribute as well. And they just pretty much want to continue their journey with BandLab and um, with their created music, production, beats, vocals, all that stuff. They want to have a distribution service with it as well, right? Um, so 
And then for the next video that I'm going to upload later on, you guys, it'll be about how to upload a song to distribute. So now that I've signed up, you are able to see, again, a lot of the features and stuff like that that BandLab actually offers, right? And you're going to want to do this sign up process before you actually get early access to the distribution part of it, right? So um, keep in mind, another thing I did want to show you guys is that um, when you hit explore, it's going to show you more of the opportunities, right? Um, and you can press your single on custom vinyl, uh, vinyl postcards, excuse me, perform at certain places. You can um, connect with a lot of the beat makers, guitarists, instrumentalists, and whatnot across the country. And also they have like featured albums and this is where the promotional part kicks in. They have featured artists, recent release, etc., etc. right? And um, another thing I did wanna show you guys is that when you click on the feed feature, as you can tell, there's a little banner here to the right. So if you guys are unfamiliar with what Reverb Nation is, it's a platform that allows you to get opportunities to um, perform or even other record labels that reach out to you and whatnot. Uh, you can send your music there and also you're able to create your electronic press kit through there, all right? So it's pretty uh, beneficial and whatnot, but um, they do work hand in hand with Reverb Nation with a lot of their opportunities. So that's kind of a plus as far as um, you creating your music on BandLab, all right? So now, as soon as you sign up, everything's good to go, right? Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you click on another tab, type in BandLab distribution, right? And um, as you can see, it's already coming up. And I'm gonna click on this, right? And that's, as you guys recall in the beginning of this video, that was the same page. But since you already created a profile, you already signed in, now you're going to want to click on this. It says sign up for early access, right? Because um, keep in mind, you guys, this is still fairly a new integration with BandLab. It's a new feature as far as the distribution. So we're going to click on this and you're going to want to fill out this whole form and once you're done, they do have to look over your profile. They have to make sure everything's good and whatnot. Then they'll send you an email and they'll let you know when it's time for you to distribute and you're good to go, right? So we're going to go ahead and do this before I do make another video about the distribution part on how to upload your song and distribute it, right? So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is right here. They're like, hey, can we get to know uh, your name, a little bit about you? So, of course, me, I'm going to say JC Flames, your band lab username as well. JC Flames is the reason why you guys should always keep it the same as your artist name. What is your email address? And this is the one I did use on file. And that's JC Flames music at Gmail. Which country are you located in? And I am located in the United States of America. All right, and then here, right here, it's saying, are you currently using any distribution channels? Now, I did make this video for anyone who's using BandLab as a creator, as a producer, artist, or whatnot, and let's just say, hypothetically, you do not have any distribution platforms that you are signed up to, and you're looking into using their distribution, right? So, hypothetically, just for this video, I'm gonna say, um, no, I am not, so, and it's always beneficial, I feel like it, if you guys are already used, let's say you already used a distribution channel in the past, still click no anyways, if you wanna get access to the distribution, because like I said, they're, they're looking to reel you in. They want people who are looking to distribute with them as a lifetime user, right? So still click no anyways, even though I've had a lot of stuff released in the past. Um, so go ahead and click um, no, and then it says right here, give us some time, we'll get back to you, and we hope you're excited for this. All right, so the next video, guys, I'll probably release it next week. I've been so busy on creating uh, more music. I'm looking to release a single pretty soon again, and also working on my album that I want to release later on this year. But next week, I will upload, once I get this email and whatnot, they verify it, I'll upload another video talking about how to upload a song to the their distribution service, all right? And the last thing you're gonna wanna do, you guys, is go ahead and click Submit, and they're telling you right here, give us some time, we'll get back to you, and um, then they'll verify you, right? So I'm gonna click Submit, and it's saying, all right, your, your response is recorded. 
And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, before I do go, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date, all right, on new videos I'm always uploading, all right? My name is JC Flames, and I'm out.